Hi, my name is Clayton Kling. Uh, it was a little over two years ago now. Um, I was working on a friend of mine's motorcycle. Just got it done. She's only been riding for about four months. And I was like, I'll take the bike for a test ride. It's getting dark. She goes, no, I'll take it for her. I was like, no. I said, what happens if this is a bad part? Headlights go out, the bike stalls on you. First couple words out of her mouth was, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, yeah, no, you're not riding it. So I took it, it was in uh, Conway in a housing development. I was going down the road, next thing I know, I went to make a wide right hand turn, right there stood a deer. Then I locked up the brake, and it was too close to the curb, jumped it three times, landed a retaining pond. Well, I swam out of the pond, went to stand up, and couldn't stand. Had my foot cut off, a piece of bone out of my hip, my lower back was broke, basically crushed my rib cage, a few other head injuries. The woman across the pond, she was down here on vacation visiting her mom. They heard me hollering for help. She's the one that actually saved my life. She was luckily, somehow or another, a trauma nurse. <laughs> she knew how to put the foot back on to make some bleeding stop. I don't know what you'd call it, <laughs> luck. <laughs> But they try putting my foot back on because they always try and save a limb if they can. I dealt with that for probably about a year. And they wanted to do more surgeries because my ankle died, bones of my foot died. And I'm like, no more surgeries because I'd end up with a club foot with all the pain. So I said, just, just take it. So I'm a voluntary amputee. Oh, it's, a, it's a world of difference. You learn how to walk with it. You learn how to take showers different. The goodness from where I'm originally from, I used to drive farm equipment, so I'm used to driving with both feet. So me switching over to driving with my left foot was no big deal. Yeah, I had uh, a couple of friends help me through it. The one motorcycle I wrecked was hers. She let me move in with her and over six months in a wheelchair, dealing with all that, yeah, she helped out quite a bit, so yeah. Well, um, I just got reacquainted with my daughter. I haven't seen her in many years. So me and her are getting reacquainted. And then my current wife now, that's pretty much about it. Actually, my dad got me into it whenever I was little. Always loved bikes, and I've been riding since I've been, I don't know, five, six years old. The last one I rode was a 2012 Harley-Davidson Dyna Superglide. Went and I looked at a motorcycle. It's a 1998 Harley-Davidson Y-Glide. And you know, I wanted to make sure I could hold it up with my prosthetic, no problems. It's light enough. I don't think I'm having any problems. I'm gonna modify the peg a little bit so my foot stays on it. But yeah. Get on the plate and come up to hold my foot in place. It's gonna go across where the heel is and then come up so my foot cannot go while I'm riding. It'll just stay right there. So I have a little heel guard come up and my foot will stay just like that. Passion, it's way of life. I love it. As much as I've been through, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not gonna stop. The freedom, the way everything feels, I mean, just, if you need to clear your mind, just get on the bike and go and just get a clear, free head from it. By the time you're done, you just feel good.